Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and read. <laughs> really? Everyone's favorite. Dirty jokes? Every man should know. Let's begin, shall we? Mmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Sexual noise. The bashful bride and groom were delighted to be finally alone. <laughs> to be finally alone in their honeymoon suite. Blushing. The, <laughs> the bride asked her new husband. J Johnny. Now that we're married. Could you tell me what a penis is? <laughs> This is hard. Please. <laughs> I like his penis. <laughs> Pleased to discover his wife was a virgin, he uh, took out his penis and showed it to her. <laughs> oh, she said, "It's just like a dick, only smaller." Three guys go to a ski lodge. There aren't enough rooms, so they have to share a bed for the night. In the morning, the guy on the right wakes up and says, Last night I had the wildest, most vivid dream. That I uh, was getting a hand job. The guy on the left wakes up and says, That's incredible. I had the exact same dream. The guy in the middle wakes up last and says, Boy, I'm really excited to hit the slopes. Last night, I had the most realistic dream that I was skiing. Two couples got together every Saturday night for years, but their visits were starting to get boring. One night after several drinks, they decided to spice things up by uh, swapping partners. The next morning, Mike woke up, rolled over, and asked, Did you enjoy that? I had a terrific time, his new partner replied. Let's go see how the curls did. <laughs> Spousey. The two husbands were fucking. The two girls were fucking getting it on. I'm yeah. not gonna explain every single joke I say I to get you. Get all. Hello, guys. Cool Tristan here. And today I'm gonna continue what Josh has been doing. Dirty jokes. After a particularly wild company Christmas party, the vice president woke up with a terrible hangover. He turned over and groaned to his wife. What in the hell happened last night? As usual, you made a fool of yourself in front of the chairman of the board. Piss on him, the man answered. You did, she said. <laughs> and he fired you. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> the man replied, <laughs> I did. You go back to work on Monday. <laughs> oh, at least she got his job back for him. Mickey Mouse stood in divorce court, waiting for the judge's verdict. Mickey Mouse commanded the judge, I cannot grant you a divorce since the court has found Minnie Mouse to be mentally competent. But your honor, I didn't say Minnie was crazy. I said she was fucking goofy. A millionaire and his wife lead a lavish lifestyle until one day, the guy lost everything in a shady investment deal. That night, he went home and explained their diminished financial status to his wife. Since we need to start saving, you better learn to cook so that we can let go of our personal shit. That's fine, she said. If you can learn how to fuck, we can fire the garden gym. <laughs> A young man decided that he wasn't adequate. He wasn't adequately endowed, so he went to a doctor and asked to have his penis surgically enlarged. The doctor told the young man that the best way to lengthen his penis was a radically advanced type of surgery that involved implanting a section of a baby elephant's trunk into his cock. The patient thought the surgery was an expensive solution. Oh, extreme solution. Probably expensive too. But the doctor assured him that it was completely safe and the best way to lengthen his member. Sure enough, the operation was performed without any complications. And after a few weeks of 
recuperation, the young man decided it was time to try out his new acquirement. He took a beautiful young woman he knew out to dinner at an elegant restaurant. The day was going smoothly. There was, they were having a lovely conversation with his new organ. When his new organ, which had been comfortably resting in his left pants leg, snaked out over the edge of the table, grabbed a hard roll, and quickly disappeared back under the table. <laughs> wow, said the girl, truly impressed. Can you do that again? I could, he said. But I don't know if I don't know if my asshole can stand another hard roll. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thank you for watching uh, Naughty Jokes. Dirty Jokes ASMR with Josh and Tristan. Your smooth talker guys on Awesome Dude Radio. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah, and tune in for next week. We have a good deal with our concert tickets. It's a two-man group. Enjoy your stay. Stay cool, dogs. Tristan out.